Hey guys, welcome to Sweet Assembly where I show you how to assemble your baby gear. This is part two of the Even Flow Every Kid Car Seat video series. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to actually install the car seat into the car. I'll show you how to install it in both rear facing mode and front facing mode. And I'll even show you how to install it with the anchors and also with the car seat belt. As always, if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button. Okay, now into the video. First, I'm going to show you how to install the car seats in front facing mode. First step is to unhook the tether strap and throw it over the back of the seat. We'll hook it on in a minute. Now you have to move the anchors from the rear facing belt path to the front facing one. To do so, you unhook both anchors, then open the panel on the seat and start pulling out the anchors. Once they're pulled out, you have to slip them through the front facing belt path. Next, you hook the anchors to the anchor hooks in your car seat by pressing them on. This is a close-up of the action to really bring the point home. Once we have the anchors hooked on, we have to apply pressure on the car seat by putting our weight on it. Then manifest your inner Hulk strength and pull the out of those anchor straps until they're secure in place. When that is done, put the extra slack under the back pad. Then check that the seat won't move by pulling on the belt path. The car seat should not move more than an inch in any direction. Side note, make sure that the straps of the anchors are totally flat without twist. Then put the back pad back on. Lastly, connect tether strap to tether hook on the back of your car seat. Then pull on the strap until it is tight. Now I'm going to show you how to install it with the seat belt. First, take the tether strap and drape it over the back of the car seat. Before installing, make sure that you have moved the anchors from the front facing belt path to the rear facing belt path. Then pull out the whole seat belt so that the child lock turns on and slip it through the front facing belt pad. Then snap the end onto the buckle. Once it's buckled in, you put all of your weight on the car seat and go Hulk mad while pulling on the shoulder strap until it is completely tightened. At the other end, you have to make sure to put the shoulder strap through the front facing lock off while tightening. Once again, make sure the belt straps are flat against the car seat. No twist. This ain't no movie climax. 
Lastly, like before, connect the tether strap to the back of the car seat and tighten. Next, I'll show you how to install the car seat rear facing with the anchors. Make sure the anchors are in the rear facing belt path and the tether strap is hooked onto the side of the car seat. Now, turn the car seat rear facing and recline it to the right position, making sure that the level line is parallel to the ground. Then, unhook the anchors from the sides and hook them onto the anchors of your car. Next, with your hand, put downward pressure on the center of the car seat while pulling on the strap of the anchor until it tightens completely. Now, I'll show you how to install it with the seat belt. First, make sure the anchors are through the front facing belt path and the tether strap is hooked on the side of the car seat. Then, turn the seat to rear facing and recline the seat. Next, pull the whole seat belt out to trigger the child lock. Slip it through the rear facing belt path and buckle it on. Then, put downward pressure on the middle of the seat while pulling on the shoulder strap until it is completely tightened. Make sure the shoulder strap is slipped through the rear facing lock off at the end of tightening. There you have it folks, that's how you install the Evenflow car seat into the car. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by subscribing, hitting like, and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment down below. I'll read through them and respond when I can. That's all for today, thank you so much for watching, God bless and see you in the next video.